For this problem, we want to convert the angle 40 degrees into radians. To convert uh, any sort of a measure, we can use the dimensional analysis process, which says that we're going to take the unit that we're starting with, and if we want to get rid of it, we're going to multiply by a fraction that has an equivalency that we can, that, that we can use. Um, in this case, because degrees are on the top, we're going to want to put degrees on the bottom of the fraction, and I'd like to change that to radians. So I'll put that on the top. In this case, what's going to happen is my degrees are going to cancel and I'll be left with radians left behind. Um, so now I just need to fill in two numbers that I know are equivalent. Um, so it's kind of like multiplying by one. We're not changing the value of the problem. We're just switching over the units. The one that I used to like to use the most is the fact that 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. So when we do this, the degrees units cancel and I'm left with the radians unit behind and then all I have to do is actually um, simplify 40 pi over 180. A um, couple things that you can do here, notice the zeros will cancel out so that's nice, kinda like divide top and bottom by 10. Uh, 2 will go into the top and the bottom there so that'll leave me behind with 2 there and 9 there. And so after reducing, I end up with 2 pi over 9 radians as my solution. Good job.